Julie Parsonet's then mother-in-law had been feeling ill, but her body temperature did not suggest a fever. It hovered at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, long regarded as the standard for normal, and never rose above it. Yet, I remember her saying, that's high for me, Parsonet said of the incident 20 years ago. After blood tests revealed a life-threatening bacterial heart infection, she was treated, and recovered. But, had the doctor not drawn the cultures, she might have died, said Parsonet, professor of medicine, epidemiology and population health at Stanford University. Medical experts have complained that the traditional metric for normal body temperature, first introduced in the 19th century, should be revised downward, noting that the normal temperature for many people is often at least 1 degree lower than 98.6 degrees. Others propose doing away with the standard. Since the 1990s, experts have been saying they should lower the norm, said Adele Diamond, professor of developmental cognitive neuroscience at the University of British Columbia, whose research challenges the assumption that 98.6 degrees is normal. What I am saying is, they should personalize it. She suggests physicians establish a normal baseline temperature for individual patients, much as they do for blood pressure and other vital signs. There is no reason why doctors can't do this routinely, she said. There is a need to individualize it. Body temperature is a valuable tool, although not the only one, for detecting illness. A fever, a rise in body temperature, is one of the ways our immune system responds to an invading microbe, and often suggests an infection. Experts regard a reading higher than 100 degrees as a reliable indicator of fever. An abnormally low temperature also can signal a serious condition. Body temperatures, like other physical, mental and behavioral changes, follow their own 24-hour circadian rhythms, which is why they fluctuate during the day, experts say. Temperature continues to rise during the day, said Evila Geneva, a physician at Krauss Hospital and State University of New York Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, whose research has focused on body temperature circadian rhythms. It peaks about two hours before an individual goes to sleep and is lowest about two hours before waking up. Parsonet and her colleagues conducted a study published in the fall that analyzed 618,306 oral temperature readings from adult outpatients at Stanford HealthCare between 2008 and 2017 and found that their normal temperatures ranged from 97.3 to 98.2 degrees, with an average of 97.9 degrees. They tracked the time of day the temperatures were taken, in addition to each patient's age, gender, weight, height, body mass index, medications and health conditions. To avoid skewing the results, the scientists excluded participants taking drugs that affect body temperature and those who were ill.